according to the agenda. And if you have any question, just write them down. Right now, we're going to present a personality. I know this person not long ago. And he witnessed these yearly meetings. He's been 16 years as chairman of the international firm of public accountants, UC and CS Global. Currently, he's director of UC and CS America, specialist in marketing and planning. And Proce business process reengineering. I am talking about Mr. Mauricio Mobarak, a great leader, friend, and human being. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Thank you. So we are having more movement. That's March 27, 1995. It was founded since 1993. We had the idea. It was an international and worldwide firm. Not only me, but some other people. Many of us came to PWC and other firms. And we had the idea that in this corporate world, the expansion in America, Latin America, we could have this space for an international firm for small and medium-sized accounting firms. And on the other hand, we could also service customers, not only small, also big, but with the same backup of a worldwide firm. And that's why on March the 27, 1995, after two years of planning, we founded United Consulting and Corporate Services, which is the great grandmother of UC and CS Global. We're going to continue explaining this. And I wanted to share with you that we put the phrase of, I have a dream. We had this dream. And now we are going to introduce a video, which is very interesting. Many of you have seen it. We're going to talk about this dream, first in Spanish and then in English. Go ahead, Adrian, please. Let's see this. Let's watch this video. You see CS Global. The idea was created in 1993 and in 1995, Consulting Corporate Services was born in Consulting Services operating in 1995 to 2000, providing advice to important companies like the Nacional Financiera and Instituto Mexicano del Seguro Social, Social Security Institute of Mexico. In 2000, 
the idea of creating this network of Mexico and Latin America, and in alliance with Tampa APA International, we generated and UCNCS was created. It operated with this name during 2000 to 2005. The first firm was Narvaez Consultores from Saltillo, Coahuila and Monterrey, Nueva León, then XBW and XB Code, and then more accounting firms enrolled from all the country. The expansion outside Mexico continued. Wise and Associated from Lima, Peru, and also Maquia Accounting Services from the United States. So, 28 firms were enrolled. Strategic alliances were established with national and international companies. Several projects were implemented back then. In 2005, continuing with the expansion, UCNCS America was created with a French firm from 2005-2010. Most of the firms are integrated, continuing with the expansion outside Mexico through the alliance that we have with Expa 3 Alliance and then outside Mexico in the Southern Hemisphere with RT Consultora from Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Guatemala, and Colombia. In 2010, stage four, the firm grows and the current name UCNCS Global was created all the firms integrated, and we continue with the expansion outside of Mexico. Paraguay, Uruguay, Panama, the expansion is more international due to the integration of Argentina, Guatemala, Indonesia, Chile, Pakistan, Dubai, Cyprus, England, among others. And the corporate continued extended with strategic alliances in Asia, Latin America, and Europe, financial and risk funding companies, and also technology companies. In the current stage, several meetings in Latin America, a total of 20 global meetings and seven regional meetings with presence in 50 countries in five continents with more than 80 affiliated firms. 2020 to the infinite, UC and CS Global, 25 years growing together. We can do the difficult and the impossible we will attempt. Santiago Díaz Cordero. I had a dream 25 years ago getting that the best professionals and persons all over the world integrated to the best firm of professional services and qualified with the best quality in a globalized world which is already in operation and has brought the award the acknowledgement of our customers. This dream came true thanks to you. Members of UCNCS Global have made this dream yours. I wish the best for you today, tomorrow, and always.
a lo mejor se ve en la pantalla. La idea fue creada en especially in the southern core with the participation of RP consulting integrating affiliates from Argentina, Uruguay, Panama, Paraguay, Guatemala, and Colombia. For 2010 and its fourth stage, the firm becomes even more empowered. The current names emerged QC and CS Global. Most of the offices that were already in the network are integrated and all are affiliates. Continue the expansion outside of Mexico, Companies from Brazil, Paraguay, Dominican Republic, Peru, and Panama are incorporated. The expansion is increasingly international due to the integration of Argentina, Guatemala, Indonesia, India, Italy, Spain, Chile, Pakistan, Dubai, Cyprus, Romania, Greece, and England, among others. And the corporate continues to expand also with strategic alliance in Asia, Latin America, Europe, with financial companies, venture capital funders, and financing, with technology companies. During the current stage, several boards have been coordinated in Latin America level, making a total of 20 global boards and total of seven regional boards, with a presence in 50 countries on five continents, with more than 80 affiliate firms. 2020 to infinity. UC and CS Global, 25 years growing together. The difficult is done, the impossible is trying. Santiago Gonzalez Cordero. I have a dream. I have a dream too. Since 25 years ago, to bring and make your own dream to all the best professionals and persons in all the planet Earth to conform the best professional and qualified services firm with the best quality in a globalized world that has given us the shiniest star, our client's recognition. 
this dream has become true. Just because all of you have made UCNCS Global the dream come true. Thanks to all of you and wish you the best today, tomorrow and ever. Well, this is the dream that we are sharing. Okay, so this is the dream. I have always invited you to share it, and you are sharing it. Thank you for the congratulations. It is for all of us, not for a single person. We had a decisive moment. It is difficult to explain 25 years in 10 minutes. But around the year 2000, we had a decisive moment. The initial purpose was to be a single global firm. That was the initial purpose. So we said we're going to be partners all over the world in the same firm. That was the original intention. But then we started facing different problems like Enron. And in the world, the world firm with firms that are independent firms. This is what I wanted to share, sorry. So what all the firms wanted was precisely to keep their independence, but to be part of a worldwide firm. So we had to adapt this model. My apologies with the video. It's already there. So we had to adapt the model from being a world firm with partners to become a network. It is still a worldwide firm with independent firms by country and by city. At the end, this reaches the state, the municipality, the city. That was the big change. And where we had to attain that these independent firms had the same as a worldwide firm, according to Article 290 of our ethics code, a common auditing system, a common methodology, common methodology, a common name, and a requirement that we're not covering yet. That's why we're not at the IFAD signature form, is to share costs and profits. In addition of having a quality control system in common. So we are at 80% of coverage of these requirements and the idea in the future is to cover all of them and reach the IFAL firm forum. But I wanted to talk about that historic moment when we changed from a worldwide firm to independent firms. And this is out of my presentation. The video already mentioned this. I want to show you what happened this last year. It is interesting for everybody. 
here in the firm where, despite the pandemic, I have to say that there's been, been movement uh, that from last year to this year, so to speak. I'm going to show it to you on the screen. From last year, as of now, we have had like more integration. We do not have them all in here. Vigo, Aos, Vigo, Spain, Nicaragua, Uruguay. We are just about to sign with the Latin, Latin connection. You may see with offices in New York, Orlando, New Jersey, Phoenix, LA, Chicago. Also, we have two new firms in Egypt, the consultants for financial tax consultant, the Egyptian Pioneer Group, and also our affiliate in Bangladesh, Dewan Nasrul Islam and Company. This means that the firm is moving ahead despite the pandemic. And we have some strategic alliances with prime partners Switzerland in process of signature IQIQ IQ worldwide in Switzerland, CAXOR here in Mexico. And as a recap, we've already covered this. I just want to highlight that because of some projects that we will cover next Wednesday, we have an extended presence without being members of the firm in 20 countries, more or less. Amongst them, I can find Cologne, uh, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, Hungary, Serbia, Russia, the Holland, uh, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, Australia. Even in Jamaica, Bermudas, and Bahamas. And okay, uh, based on the projects we are going to be talking about, we have extended presses at correspondent level as a for affiliation. So I hope that this will be soon here. So this is the the history has been favorable to us. We are on our silver uh, anniversary, and hopefully that life will allow us to spend together this time, but physically for the gold uh, anniversary. We hope that this firm will be your dream as it is for me. Hopefully, the firm is your true dream where you will be able to attain your professional and personal dreams. Why not? Because we are a big family that goes beyond the accounting standards. So thank you very much for your attention. And we are going to continue with this annual meeting that is celebrating the 25th anniversary.